Now to the opioid epidemic, killing tens of thousands of Americans every year. An attorney is fighting it in court. Here's Mark Strassman. As black market poison, opioids have become an American cradle-to-grave scourge. You know, there's an opioid-addicted baby that's being born in a hospital right now. Mike Moore calls himself a country lawyer from Mississippi. Don't believe it. Mama's addicted to opioids. He's a 65-year-old David who has found his next Goliath, the big drug manufacturers. Moore says the industry understated how addictive the painkillers could be. They said there was a study that showed that less than 1% of people taking opioids would get addicted if under a doctor's care. That turned out to be a big lie. It just wasn't true. So who do they mislead? They misled the American public. They misled the doctors in this country. Many of the doctors were duped. And frankly, I think they misled the FDA. But one lawyer taking on a multi-billion dollar industry? It may sound like a mismatch, but don't believe that either. I don't believe that nicotine or our products are addictive. In 1994, Moore filed the first civil lawsuit against the tobacco industry. I believe that nicotine is not addictive. For misrepresenting the dangers of smoking. He was Mississippi's attorney general. 46 states eventually joined him. They won the largest class action settlement in history, $246 billion. You, you were one man out there for a long time, right? My mama called me and told me it's time for me to come home. I mean, everybody thought I'd gone absolutely nuts because nobody, frankly, had ever beaten them at all. But, but we, had a, we had a just cause. Now Moore's pushing for a similar class action suit against the pharmaceutical industry. My hope is, is other states will, you know, will join these efforts. He has convinced 11 states to sign on. It's a blunt instrument. It kind of hits people upside the head and gets their attention. Sometimes that works. Is there part of you that just likes being David? I love being David. These cases will get the truth out about this industry, and maybe we'll never repeat this in history. Win or lose? Win or lose. Focus on Mark Strassman, CBS News, Jackson, Mississippi.